Today I'm going to show you how to create an orange cup photo manipulation in Adobe Photoshop. First open your quick selection tool. Choose subtract from selection, then select the cup. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J, go to file, and open your second image. Now, select the orange. Open your move tool, drag the image and drop it into the cup background, then right click and create clipping mask. Press Ctrl T to select the free transform tool. Right click and choose the flip horizontal. Now, you can scale the image by dragging on the handles. Hit enter when you're finished. Change the blend mode to multiply. Press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Right click and create clipping mask. Change the blend mode to screen. Let's decrease the opacity, I'll choose 40%. Let's go back to this. Open your quick selection tool. Choose the new selection at the top and then select orange slice. Now, open your move tool, and drag the image. Press Ctrl T to free transform. Hold the shift key, then use these handles to distort the orange slice and match it to your cup. Hit enter once you're satisfied. Click on the mask button. Open your brush tool, and brush picker. Choose the soft round brush. Make the opacity, 20%, and the flow, 100%. Select the mask, click the foreground color, and make sure black, then click OK. Paint with black to erase the extras. Go back to file, place embedded, and place your image, hit enter on the keyboard. Go to select, and subject, click on the mask button to remove the background. Duplicate the layer, by pressing Ctrl J. Select the two layers by holding down Shift key. Press Ctrl T to free transform. Now, drag your photo to a position you like. When you're happy with your photo size and position, hit Enter on the keyboard. Select Mask of the layer below. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Invert. Change the Blend Mode to Multiply. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and create a Levels. Click on the Clip to Layer icon. By moving of the two sliders, you can control the intensity of the background and shadow just like that. Select the top layer, go back to adjustment layer icon, and create one more levels. This time again, click on the clip to layer icon. I'm going to decrease the highlight output level to 150. And then let's increase the shadow input. Once you're satisfied close the properties window. Now, invert the mask, by pressing Ctrl I. Select your brush tool. Click the foreground color, and make sure white. Then click OK. And just paint on the orange, just like that. Select the top layer. Press Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E, to copy and merge all layers. Right click and convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, and choose the Camera Raw Filter. Select Basic. I'll make the exposure, minus 0.80. The contrast, plus 8. The highlights, plus 40. The shadows, minus 25. The whites, plus 20. And the vibrance, plus 34. Then click OK. Click on the adjustment layer icon, and create a color lookup. From the drop down, select the crisp warm look. And then decrease the opacity to 25%. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.